Hey everybody, Scott from SCG Studios here, coming at you with another video. Wanted to make this one a little shorter because the last ones have been pretty long because I just pulled them from my live streams. But uh, this one I wanted to show you just one quick thing to make your drum mix sound a little more full and punchy. Um, that is the parallel uh, drum bus. So uh, direct your attention to the screen and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so here I've got all my drums. Um, I've got all my drums. Um, here's how they sound without the parallel drum bus. Let me solo these up. Ooh. Here's with the parallel drum bus. So, sounds uh, a little more full, right? So let me show you what I did. All I did was I set up a group track in Cubase here. So you go add a group, make it stereo, audio output, I use a pre-master, add track. I drag it up and I put it right next to the drums and I call it drums P and on an insert for that track I stick a compressor, make sure it's a stereo compressor. I usually use the C1 um, because it's got a super fast attack time and it can make it can just pump and uh, I just I just like it uh, ratio I go decently aggressive so four and then uh, we will decide where to set the threshold in a minute so now I've got this extra bus set up here now I'm going to take seeing this mix I what did I do um, I sent I sent the kick ever so slightly to, I should call this one drums P2 since I already have one. Drums P2. I sent a little bit of the kick to it. So I'm just, I'm just matching what I did. A little bit of the kick. I sent the snare. Drums P2. Turn it on. Uh, whatever and left the toms out, um, then I sent the overheads. Drums P2. All right. Oh, I didn't realize, oh, I just discovered something. I stick my cursor here and I use the scroll wheel. I literally just learned that. Cool. Anyway, um, let me mute this one. So now I've got some action coming into this drum bus here. So you can see drums P2 is lighting up, so I've got I got stuff coming in. So here's that bus soloed entirely. This is literally just the audio being sent to this parallel bus. So now I'm going to set the threshold. Oh, let me get back here. Maybe set the a slower attack time. And we'll set up the makeup gain. Uh, I'll speed that up again. kind of like that so I just do a ridiculous amount of gain reduction like 26 dB use makeup gain to get the level back and then uh, you just blend this in with the original drum bus so here's the original drum bus my snare is a little quiet but we'll have to rebalance this anyway once I do this so now you bring in the parallel That's all you do. So, pretty simple, but it makes the drums feel a lot more energetic. It makes them fill out in the mix a lot better. So let me show you that in context here. Get back up here. So 
So before I did the parallel bus, obviously things are out of balance. Alright, so that's my mix before. Here's my mix when I start dialing in the parallel. So, no parallel with parallel. So I do that on almost every mix, unless the drum kit just sounds ridiculously good on its own. Um, doing the parallel trick just makes it sound a lot more full, uh, just kind of glues the whole kit together, in my opinion. So to review, uh, to do that, you set up a just an auxiliary bus or whatever, whatever you call it in your DAW. For me, it's a group track. Um, on that group track, you stick a compressor, and on that compressor, you choose a decently aggressive ratio. So I chose four to one. You, for me, I played with the attack and release times until it felt like the compressor was doing what I wanted it to do. Which I know that's super vague, but uh, <laughs> I wanted I wanted it to sound messy. Um, so I want I played with attack and release until just everything sounded dirty, and then uh, dropped the threshold. Um, well, I dropped the threshold first, then I played with attack and release, but I wanted it to sound dirty. Then you add makeup gain to kind of counteract how much gain reduction you had. And then you listen to the mix, and then you slowly bring up this fader until it sounds good. Um, that's about all there is to it. So I uh, hope this helps you in your mixes, and uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, go to my website if you need help mixing stuff. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.